So I'm going to show you verses where undoubtedly salvation is by faith alone. And when it has faith, it absolutely has no works involved. Now you got to realize this is that these religions are getting smarter. So even the Catholic Church is proclaiming, if you look at catholicapologetics.com, they're saying, we believe in the verse that you're not saved by works. And you're like thinking to yourself, no, that's a lie. You obviously believe saved by works. But they're going to profess that they don't believe in salvation by works because they're playing with semantics. They're going to claim this. No, we're not saved by works. We're saved by faith. And when you're saved by faith, that's why you're going to do these works, see? Now, here's another thing, is that that's what a lot of uh, Christian Protestant churches are saying, too. And that's the heresy of lordship salvation. So in lordship salvation, they profess and they teach that if you are truly really saved by faith, then you're going to do these certain works. So John MacArthur teaches that. Piper teaches that. Uh, Ray Comfort and a lot of these people. So I'm going to show you verses that when you are truly saved by faith, you're truly saved by faith. It means what it says, and it says what it means, okay? It, there's nothing more mysterious than that. There's a cute saying, we, it's faith not works, but it's a faith that works. That's a cute saying they're trying to say, to try to get around the Bible. But you've got to realize this, cults are, trying, are joining Christian churches saying that. So this is a doctrine that you've got to extremely avoid. It's heretical. Catholic churches, Seventh-day Adventist, uh, Seventh Adventist churches, Jehovah Witness organizations, they're all teaching this, you got to realize. Some of you who was in my dispensationalism class heard me give all the creeds of these different religions and cults and famous Christian pastors, how they were similar with each other in wording. So that's why we avoid this. Okay, so Romans 11:6, powerful verse. And if by grace, then is it no more of what? Works. Otherwise, grace is what? No more grace. See, if you insist that this work has to be within your salvation by grace, salvation by faith, then you automatically cancel salvation by grace. You automatically cancel salvation by faith if you put works in there. Because why? Let's keep reading. But if it be of works, okay, if you're going to profess works, then is it what? No more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. You see that? You get rid of the meaning of work, and you get rid of the meaning of grace. If you insist that these two has any part with each other. So you have to separate the two totally. Say by works means works, okay? And say by faith means faith. You don't put the two together. Otherwise, you cancel the meaning of faith, and you even cancel the meaning of works. you got to understand. So Romans 11, 6. Let's also look at Romans chapter 3. Romans 3. Now, the Catholic Church, they would like to say this. Well, yes, it says say by faith, believe, say by faith, 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 believe, believe, believe. But it never says faith without works or faith alone, faith that doesn't have works to accompany. That's how the Catholic Church goes around it. So they say, they claim they deny salvation by works because by our works we're not saved. But when we're saved by faith, see, it's because of our faith, that's why we do these works. See the semantics, the slyness, the devil's people are getting more crafty and crafty. So you have to avoid that. Let's look at Romans chapter 3. But no, the Bible says that it, uh, this faith has no works accompanying. We're going to look at Romans chapter 3. And notice the word of God speaks at verse 24. Being justified, what? Freely by his grace, through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. And in case you don't get the memo, look at verse 28. Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith. Does this faith have works in it? No, without the deeds of the law. If you're not saved like that, you're not saved at all, period. Amen. You're not saved at all if you think that there are works in company. It's faith, and, and you've got to rely on faith and just faith. That's how we're saved. No works whatsoever. So you'll see right here in Romans 3.28, faith 
has no works. And then you'll see here at Romans chapter 11, verse 6, that grace that has any works whatsoever, you automatically cancel each side so that they're not equated. Let's also look at the book of Galatians chapter 2. Galatians chapter 2. Galatians 2. Now, if you show them verses, okay, listen to me now. When you show them verses like, knowing a man is justified not by the works of the law, but by the faith. When you show them verses that, uh, for by grace are you saved through faith, not of yourselves, uh, not of works, lest any man should boast. The Catholic apologist and then the Lordship salvationist, they're all going to agree with you and say, we're not saying salvation by works. We're not saying salvation by works. We believe salvation by faith. But if you're really and genuinely, see, really or genuinely, say by faith, then you're going to have these works. See, works do accompany faith. See, that's how they, you, you live in that day and age, they're getting sly. So those verses aren't going to work with them. You have to show them these verses. These verses are clear as day, absolutely no works. Let's look at Galatians chapter 2. And we'll read verse 21. I do not frustrate the grace of God. For if righteousness come by the law, then what? Christ is dead in vain. So Galatians chapter 2, verse 21. If you, simple. If you think good works can save you, then why did Jesus die for you? Then Jesus died for nothing. So if works can save, you've got to realize this. Jesus wasted his time. So we don't believe in that. We don't believe works can save. Because what? Jesus' death did it all. Don't we sing the song, Jesus paid it all? Amen. What does that mean? He paid it all. Amen. So if you believe your work counts, then you're saying that Jesus' sacrifice is incomplete. He died for nothing, and it wasn't enough. So that's a simple no-brainer why works cannot save, because he died for a reason, to save you. All right, let's also look at Romans chapter 4. Romans chapter 4. Romans chapter 4, verse 4 through 5. Romans chapter 4, and we will read verses 4 through 5. Notice right here, if you choose to work, then God says it's not reckoned of grace. If you do works, it's automatically not grace. It's of debt. Look at Romans chapter 4, verse 4. Now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of what? Debt. Oh, I'm saved by grace, but I'm going to do these works because I'm really saved. And when you fail to do these works, you doubt your salvation. You think you're not a real Christian. And then you think that you lost it. But the verse says, no, it's, look at this. If you work, it's not grace then. It's debt. Verse 5. But to him that what? Worketh not. If you choose not to work, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly. You choose to believe. What does that verse say? His faith is counted for what? Righteousness. Automatically. See that? If you choose not to work, God says you're automatically considered to be saved by grace. That's what he says. Your faith is counted for righteousness. Look at the book of Galatians chapter 3. Galatians chapter 3. Galatians 3. Whenever I talk to a Jehovah Witness, these guys, they will keep harping. We don't stress salvation by works, salvation by works, salvation by works. Cults say that, okay? Lordship salvationists will say that. I, sometimes I can't tell the difference with a Jehovah Witness and with one of Ray Comfort's followers. I'm sorry, when you talk to both of them, then you'll find out. See, you can't tell the difference. You know why? These cults are getting smarter now. Just simply saying, not saved by works, is not going to work with them. They're going to agree with you. They're going to say, you're misunderstanding them. That's what they're going to do. And they're going to try to explain to you what this salvation by faith, this grace is. And they'll say, if you are truly, then you're going to show your appreciation by doing these works. We're going to see these works. 
No, that don't work with God. God says absolutely not. So use these verses. These verses are clear as day. You show them absolutely nothing. Now look at Galatians chapter 3. And notice what the Word of God says at verse 10. For as many as are of the what? Works of the law are under the curse. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. If you're under works, you're under a curse, you got to understand. And if you're under that curse, you got to keep doing these works. But look what the Bible says. Verse 12. Uh, well, we'll do verse 11. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God. See that? God says that's why it's not continuing in these works. But how many churches and Christians have you said, have you heard, oh, where are those works? Where are those fruits? I got to keep seeing those things. You got to continue in them. If you stop believing in Jesus, you stop uh, going to church, you stop reading your Bible, and you went back into sin, you're not really saved, they'll say. But that verse says, no, it, you know, it's not continuing in them. That's a curse. Because we're not justified by that. We're justified by faith, verse 11 says. Now look at verse 12. And the law, remember the works of the law, is not of what? Faith. There, there's your definition. Works does not equal faith. Capisce? <laughs> the man that doeth them shall live in them. So Galatians chapter 3, verse 10 through 12, makes it very clear. Galatians chapter 3, verse 10 through 12, makes it very clear that this kind of logic taught by a lot of churches and false religions and cults is false. Faith that works. Well, that's pretty cute, but that doesn't work, all right? Amen. Law, Amen. the works of the law is not a faith, it says. It's not, it's not, it's not. So I would suggest using these five verses. These five verses are the strongest verses. Romans 11:6 is my favorite. I use that quite often. This is like the strongest. Use these verses to prove to them that definitely salvation by grace cannot have works in it whatsoever. Period and period and period. That's it. Because if they insist there is some work involved, then tell them this. You get rid of the definition of work then according to Romans 11.6. Work means work. It's that simple. And grace means grace. It's that simple. God means what he says. He says what he means. There's no strange, weird, uh, interesting, mythical interpretation behind it. God means what he says.